Okay. You come from a strong background. What lessons from scaling product and methods are harder to translate into building a truly decentralized AI infrastructure like one? So some some of the lessons can definitely we we we, we learn a lot, uh, especially in terms of how building product which people will actually use. You know, like our computer vision product was used by. 600 million people back at, at Snapchat when we build 3D avatars. So we definitely think that uh, crypto should learn more of that, uh, how to, to make this product which will be uh, appealing for the mass audience and which will not have any uh, barriers uh, of like usually which you see in crypto world. But I actually am more excited about what uh, Web2 can learn uh, from crypto, uh, and there is a lot of learn to learn, especially in infrastructure field and the AI field. Yes. Vodka enters nearly 100% of resources for meaningful AI tasks instead of waste. What was the moment you realized existing models were so inefficient? You, you know, I, I really passionate about de decentralization, um, and but many projects uh, which uh, I. I was exploring, including Bitcoin, um, is always had this uh, notion of waste for me. Like you know, Bitcoin, like just overload uh, all this massive infrastructure just with uh, hashes. Uh, no one needs them. So it, it always was a, um, a thing which I thought it would be great to innovate within, uh, because. If we can unleash this power, but use it for some meaningful computation, it's enormous. We actually can solve so many problems with that. So it was always this combination of um, passion around digitalization, how fast is improving, but at the same time that uh, definitely um, an angle should be changed. A different angle is needed um, so that we don't weigh so much. It's actually it is quite easy. So we we actually because we are not from Web3 background where everyone gets used to complicated stuff, we are like from Web2. Like that's why we try to make this as easy as possible so that you can install a node and start to mine. Uh, and uh, from this perspective, and we right now observe several teams who even develop it more gamified, that it will be just a one button, like uh, you know, like there was all these mining games which weren't really mining, but uh, but with similar UI so that uh, people can make it easier. So the, the instruction is go to Gonka AI website and there is documentation which describes you what you should do as a host. And quick start is the simplest one. Like there is a more complex setup when you have a cluster of GPUs and you need to make a, a complex setting. But for is a simple um, one GPU you own to mine is just quick start instruction which everyone can follow. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so product science um, has uh, major clients like Airbnb, JP Morgan Chase. We provide like AI services uh, and uh, code optimization AI services for many different big uh, corporations. But uh, for us, uh, it was interesting to experiment, like what, how we can apply the same knowledge and the same principles. And our team was always rooted in uh, performance, like how to make it work fast. Um, so, and when you build decentralized network for AI, but you need to care about performance. It, it's, a, it's a complex product which you need to make so that it will be easier to, to install, but it's a complex product which uh, have three parts, the consensus part and how to coordinate all this activity, API part so that developers can use it easily. And, machine learning part, like how to make all these language models to run and to, to be efficient. Um, so we took a lot of the experience of uh, performance engineering, how to make this code work really efficiently and fast um, in, in the product, but also these principles of being consumer oriented and you know, like how to make 
products which will be used. You know, like many decentralized AI projects out there, they concentrated on like you can rent a GPU, like you know, like like micro marketplace. Like it's not easy to use at all. Like uh, most developers use AI through uh, APIs, which are like super easy to use. With so that when you use OpenAI, for example, to switch for you is just like one line of code change. So we invested a lot of this um, attention to, to these details in this project for sure. Yeah, so I think like because we focus on infrastructure builders, you know, like we are proof of work network. That's why all the incentives aligned with the improvement or improvement over the infrastructure. I think that what we will see is that this type of protocols will drive the hardware innovation, which we all see in, in Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin started with CPUs and then with GPUs. You know, like in 2010 it was just thousand GPUs each mined a thousand bitcoins just in one year. Yes, but so the only early days which use a similar hardware everyone get used to, but after like 2019, uh, 2011, 12, things start to change because those incentives drove the innovation forward to improve the hardware itself. And modern hardware is hundreds of thousands of times better than NVIDIA in solving those tasks. So we see our big role is to drive this innovation, to allow those, uh, the same ASICs manufacturers who previously worked on Bitcoin miners or on the Ethereum miners or Aleo miners to actually invest their attention into AI. And in, from this perspective, our opportunity is not just solve a tiny portion of security uh, or uh, smart contract with agents stuff. We actually can build an infrastructure which will be larger than the entire infrastructure of big tech. But for that, we need this alignment. We need the proof of work system. That's why we invested all our attention in that, like how to build a system which align with, with those type of innovation so that to drive them forward. And we've already seen like many uh, hardware developers approach us like, oh, like, cool, like now we can actually build something for AI because before that, it won't be really profitable for them because most of the networks right now, they proof of stake, like BitTensor. Most of the rewards are received by stakers there. So hardware producers, especially like those who invest in new manufacture, would never work with such system because they see that uh, those networks don't have enough incentive for them to join.